Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo! What's going on? As you see, I'm having a color adjustment time once again. You know me. Um, It's always something. You know, I was thinking back wondering, like, you know, in life we always have changes and stuff like that. And, whew, I had to get rid of my car, and my car started acting up once again. I was like, you know what, I can't afford to keep paying for a car that I'm never hardly in and all the time, but yet still, here's another bill. Anyway, so you know, I was flipping through the network, and I was watching all the cable, you know, the re well, the reality shows and stuff like that. You got the housewives, you got the, um, all these different channels, Lala Foucault, and, um, you know, you have a lot of different shows and stuff like that, and, you know, they're promoting different things and stuff like that. And then I was flipping through the local channel, and I was watching um, the RuPaul Drag Race show, and I was watching also, you know, Oprah Winfrey Own, and, you know, just a whole bunch of different networks and stuff like that. And, um, and I noticed one thing, you know, it's really weird, and I know I was talking the same topic and stuff like that, because um, I think it's so easy. Um, really, and really real. <laughs> no mother's gonna have a oopla. <laughs> but I found it so unreal that here it is 2013 and we don't even have um, a transsexual type of show. And I thought it to be very funny because I wanted it to be a show in reference to transsexuals being taken more serious and more transgenders taken more serious. And I don't want to keep talking about the same old thing, the same old thing, the same old thing because the world is based upon a lot of different things. However, we have the RuPaul Drag Race show, and I love RuPaul and stuff like that. I actually met him before. He's adorable, beautiful person, but he's not a transsexual. He's a drag queen who puts on shows and stuff like that, and God bless him because in the business, it's such a hard, hard, hard work, and I'm sure RuPaul has been catching holy hell to get to the status that he's gotten to. You know, and I met him, and he's a beautiful person, beautiful person. And when I met him in person, he told me, he said, do not look at all of that about me. He said, I want you to just look at me as a person, as if you just meet me for the first time. And I went to him, and I was like, well, you know, I'm having such a hard way to go. You know, the girls won't help me and stuff like that. And he told me, he said to me, he looked me in my face, he said, sweetie, you're pretty. Nobody's going to help you. <laughs> And I was like, why? He said, because you are going to be a threat. And the simple fact of the matter is that they're not going to help you. So what you need to do is do it yourself. And I think that was the best knowledge that, you know, he could ever possibly give me or she, whatever. I don't know what he wants to be called, but I give him, I call him RuPaul because that's the name I know him as. And that's the name I respect him as. And when he tells me to call him something different, then that's what I'll call him. Anyway. At the end of the day, you know, I think it was the most powerful, you know, thing that he could possibly tell me. So, that being said, you know, and I understand his struggles and stuff like that. I don't know all his struggles because I haven't walked in his shoes. I really don't know what he went through. Only could go by what I went through, but I could only imagine the different diversities and challenges that he had to go through just to get a local channel or the channel, because he was on one time before. And the thing about it is, there is no transsexual shows and stuff like that. Most of us have to hide in order to keep our identity, you know, from being revealed or being a laughing stock, whatever they want to do when they want to find out the kiki. And I always find it to be amazing that we're not taken seriously. And a simple fact of the matter is that I know I'm like a soldier beaten to my own drum and probably the only one that's on the silence of the silence of no one that's really listening or even care. Because at the end of the day, I guess everybody's trying to make a living within themselves and they can really get too fly about to ask what I do or how I think about it. You know, but I find it really weird because it is 2002 and there's not one reality show about a transsexual. And I'm not talking about a transsexual who gets up there and all she takes her hair off and she goes out as a boy one day. Because transsexuals don't do that. Transsexuals can't take up their hair and go out as a boy because the body is already done. Let it be known. And the lights was on. <laughs> And the simple fact of the matter is I wanted to be taken serious and I wanted to be a show in reference to girls like me, girls that are different than me, girls that are diverse, 
girls that are other underdog, and I will be like an underdog show where everybody feels sorry for this person and stuff like that. I want to be a show in reference to the underdog show and everybody they could do it when nobody thought that they could possibly do it, and yet it was done. And that's just, a, I guess, a pitch where somebody probably will steal it. But I wanted to show the progress of something like that when they zoom back in and zoom back into that and zoom back into this and show you, yes, they're doing it. And I want to go on that show. It's called Progress. Progress is a big show in reference to people that are making progress that were out of the norm. And when I mean that, I mean a lot in catered to transsexuals and transsexualities and the different things of diversity they have to go through in order to be who they are stronger within their selves and their self-esteem of endurance. And the simple fact of the matter is, you know, I listen to Laverne Cox and stuff like that, and I watch her. She's very beautiful, inside and out. And she's an advocate, and she puts this through. She's like the, to me, my personal opinion, she's like the um, Martin Luther King type of version of peace and harmony and unity. And but then I'm like the little bit of, um, mm, she's on that level, and I'm on a whole other schedule level because she believes in, you know, speaking of truth and. Uh, understanding and try to get you understand your pronouns and stuff like that and I love her and I appreciate her for that for trying to give unity me she's more on um, a higher level than myself and I'm not trying to put myself down and stuff like that but my whole thing is I'm, a, I'm like the Amorosa I don't give a fuck I'm gonna put it in your face whether you realize it or not and deal with it because the simple fact of the matter is at the end of the day there is nice and then there's a bitch. And then behind a nice person, there is a bitch. And I guess I'm going to be her big sister because I guess I'll be the bitch. Because my simple fact of the matter is that I don't quite understand why it's in 2013 and we can sit back and kiki key and talk about so many damn other things talk about reality and that we're not going to be accepted by society. But yet we call society people who sit up there, you beat your wives, you cheat on them, you dog them, you got this girl pregnant, you got that girl pregnant. And that's your reality because that's fun. But why can't you shed upon a different light and find about another spectrum of the world? The world has created us so many different flavors and volumes of so many screaming out loud. People have hear me roar and watch me as I walk to my own beat. Why is it not possible that we can see something of something else? Why is this 2013 is not a transsexual show in reference to us being taken serious and not the point of no caddy and no malicious evilness? A show that creates a positive and say, wow, I never thought she went through this. I understand they struggle, stuff like that. But sometimes people really need to watch it within themselves and understand the struggle. And I'm not talking about the dark side. I'm talking about the positive side. Because there's so many positive sides about us. And if you think about it, you know, you probably say, well, they do this and they do that. But look at y'all. And I'm not saying y'all is a society because I'm a part of society. So I cannot eliminate myself from a whole society. That means I would eliminate myself as a person. And no one wants me to be eliminated because everybody needs a bitch. <laughs> wow! But anyway, that's how I feel. You know, I feel like, you know, it's 2013 and nobody pitches that stuff like everybody said, but there's so much of this and so much of that. Yet still, you got another somebody who's on a casting couch and now they're quietly a different sex. They're actually your same sex. So why is it such a frowned upon type of thing when it comes to me when you're not frowned upon when you look at you? I've never heard of a transsexual getting out there shooting and sniping and killing up a whole bunch of people and stuff like that. But I have heard of us being killed. I have heard of us being jumped on and abused. I have heard of us being attacked. I have heard of us being making fun of when you go down to the precinct. And we're nothing but a joke. But yet, so at the end of the day, one of the boys or one of the girls list was getting tagged in that fucking butt. Anyway. Honey, this should make me a talk show. Her honey mother got a story. And don't make me bring out my pictures. <laughs> Wow! But anyway, you know, I'm a mess. But I do keep my mouth closed and stuff like that. And like my girl Nene Leak says, keep your legs closed and marry me. <laughs> and I'm on the opposite side of that scale, too. But anyway, I'm just saying, it's 2013. Why is it not a transsexual show being out there being taken serious and not created of a big old joke? Because there's a bunch of closet freaks I would love to watch. And there's a bunch of women that would love to watch it and understand where it's coming from. But women are much more compassionate. That's why I love me a woman. And I don't want to be a woman, but I love women. And there are a lot of men out there and stuff like that who have compassion as well. They're not all, every man in the world is not me. Every woman in the world is not me. There are people that have some compassion and they can kind of relate to your lives. And everybody knows there is life. There is difference. And difference make the world go round. When a black girl decides she wants to wear blonde hair, she's different. When a white girl decides she wants to do dreads, she's different. 
It doesn't make her wrong. It makes her individual. It makes her stand out, which makes her a star because she's doing everything everybody else couldn't do. That's what they're talking about. So, Mommy, whoever you are, Poppy, whatever you are, you're doing your thing. Stand up and be stronger who you do because there's somebody you have just inspired to be their true self and not sit back and be amongst the many who are not strong enough to stand up and be the true them themselves. Anyway, that being said, <laughs> you know I've been watching Samantha Sex in the City, so if I go into my ooh, ooh, <laughs> she has inspired me. Yes, that's the kind of character I may be, but I love her. Sure, you may think she's a little character, so like she's not real, but mm. then again, how much of us are really real? Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. And I want to thank you for subscribing. And that's right. And I know y'all heard it before, but I do love myself some Dennis Robin. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Hello, all the new people. Hey, for all the old people. Ho. Thank you for holding your big sis down. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And you do you. You do the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.